yo what's up guys welcome back to a brand new video so in today's video we're going to be going over all the different types of upgrading systems inside of maple story i know a lot of times when starting off the game or even at a mid or late game level you start to get confused at which upgrading systems you should be focusing on whether that be things like star forcing cubing leveling, fams, arcane force, and flaming. And in today's video, we're gonna be going over all of those different types of systems and which ones are most important for you to upgrade. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. So the further and further you get into MapleStory, you start to realize that there's a ton of different types of upgrading systems. I know it can be extremely confusing on what to upgrade, but hopefully this video can help. So the different types of upgrading systems inside of the game are going to be star forcing, cubing, flaming, arcane force, leveling, and fans. Now the question is, which ones are gonna be most important, which ones are gonna be most expensive, and which one should you focus on first? So to begin, let's just go over what each one of these systems is. So star forcing is a system inside of the game that allows you to upgrade your items. Each star gives you either stat and stat with attack. Cubing is a system inside the game where you can cube your items or certain roles of potentials, things like attack, percent all stat, HP, MP, defense. Flaming is a system inside of the game that allows you to add extra stats onto your item rather than just star forcing. These flames can give anything from attack, HP, MP, all stat, and percent all stat. Arcane Force is a daily quest that you can complete each day that will give you a certain amount of symbols depending on whatever region that you are in. These scale from level 1 all the way to level 20 and depending on what level they are they get more and more expensive. Now obviously leveling, you're just leveling your character whether that be level 200, whether that be level 250, whether that be level 275. Uh, I do want to include that in as an upgrading system because technically it is. And last but not least, Familiars. Familiars is an external system aside from items on your character. This is a system inside the game that allows you to farm familiars that are certain cards that will drop from mobs. And every 100 to 150 familiars, you will need to rank the familiar up to either rare, epic, and unique. And these lines will consist of things like percent attack, drop rate, mesos obtained, percent boss damage, and percent IED. Now we do have a separate guide on a lot of these things, so I will link those all in the description below. But now that we've explained what each one of these upgrading systems does and what they are, let's go over what the most expensive systems in the game are. We're going to be starting from most expensive to least expensive. Flaming is going to be one of the most expensive upgrading systems in the game and unironically it is also the least important. Flaming is extremely expensive at a late to end game level because the rolling system has very low odds to hit the desired stat and there's also no event for this either. Coming in after flaming is going to be cubing. Now this depends on the stage of the game that you're in. Mid to late game, this is cheaper because rolling for two line is relatively cheap, but at an end game level, min maxing your gear, going for double primes, cubing is the second most expensive upgrading system in the game. After cubing comes star forcing. Now a lot of people think that star forcing is a bad system. In fact, it's actually one of the best systems in the game, especially after all of the reduction to cost that they've done. Star forcing is very, very good where it's at, and the cost is not extremely expensive even to get to point to 22 stars coming in after star force is going to be arcane force and sacred symbol force now i put this in as an upgrading system because it is technically a system that you upgrade and it does have a cost to it arcane force is relatively cheap but at a higher level once your symbols get to like level 19 level 18 or your sacred symbols are at level 10 or 9 it's relatively cheap up until the last few levels so you don't really have to worry about this too much in terms of cost and then coming in last at the most expensive or should i say say least expensive is going to be leveling slash fams now obviously these don't cost anything at all but they do cost time which is still a factor but in terms of just sheer mesos they don't cost anything so now that we have everything discussed in terms of what's most expensive and what these systems actually are let's go over the order of importance of which you should go about upgrading these in the most efficient way possible so starting off with number one the most important thing that you want to focus on doing at the earlier stages of the game is focusing on star forcing star forcing is going to give you the most amount of damage for the least amount of cost so it is something that you want to try and work on before any of these other systems now the reason why Starforce is such an important thing to to work on upgrading is because it not only gives 
you stat, but it also gives you attack. And when gaining attack on all of your items, it starts to scale more and more and more with the percent attack that you have on your weapon, secondary, and emblem. It is one of the most important things that you want to emphasize the most. Coming in after star forcing is going to be cubing. Now the reason why cubing is number two in this list is because relatively speaking cubing isn't extremely expensive until you start to get to that late end game stage when you're going for three lines and double primes but for the most part cubing is relatively inexpensive and it's something that you shouldn't really worry about min maxing until you're at a very end game point in the game coming in after cubing is going to be arcane force now the reason why i put arcane force in at number three of order of importance is because not only does arcane force give you stat and damage but it also allows you to deal a percentage of damage to certain bosses so if you're under arcane force you're going to get our damage reduction against these bosses but if you're over arcane force in some of these bosses you're going to get a damage multiplier so arcane force is extremely extremely important not only training but also bossing as well now coming in after arcane force is going to be leveling the reason why leveling is underneath arcane force at number four is kind of the same concept as arcane force because if you're underneath the level of a certain mob or a certain boss you will get a damage reduction penalty for every level that you are underneath a boss you will get five percent FD reduction but for every level that you are above a boss you will get two percent ft bonus up to 10 levels above the level of the boss after leveling we have flaming now the reason why flaming is at number five because it really doesn't do a ton for your damage it's a very min maxi thing it does obviously help out with your damage but it is very insignificant compared to the rest of the things on this list now coming in at last and this is probably going to be a little bit controversial i have familiars the reason why i have familiars in at this spot is because it's something that you really shouldn't focus on until a very late stage of the game and it's also something that is so rng based that it is so hard to actually obtain that's not something that you want to sit here and spend your entire time doing but it is something that is extremely important but the amount of time and the amount of rng gate that comes behind making this upgrade is so high that's why i put it at such a low point in this list so now that we've kind of gone over everything from what these upgrading systems are to the cost of them and the order of importance. I wanna hear what your guys' thoughts are. Let me know if you guys agree, disagree, or have any questions, thoughts, or concerns with the list that I put up in front of you guys. I hope you guys all did enjoy the video today, but until next time, I will see you all in the next one. Take it easy, peace.